I have no problem with a vegan deciding to ruin their health over their supposed moral or ethical, maybe even false environmental beliefs. But if you're going to bring a child into this and compromise the health of other people, this is where I take things very seriously and actually want to educate people on what proper nutrition is. So we're going to take a look at this video and then some studies that indicate what she is saying is quite the opposite of what's true. Hey guys, this is my name Frost and my little Frost Gabriella and today we are finally going to talk about what happened to your front teeth. Everybody keeps asking this on every video we film together and so we finally thought we should talk about this, right? So, what happened, Gabby? When I was free, um my teeth were dirty, so we needed to go to the doctors and pull out my teeth. Yeah. Let's start with that, that Gabrielle hasn't had her teeth, front teeth, since she was three years old. Because that's when the doctors took them out. And the reason why is basically there could have been a lot of things that might have gone wrong. Right, Gabby? Mm-hmm. Right? When you were tiny, you had like some problems with your stomach and everything and you spend a lot of time in hospital yeah yeah the doctors gave you a lot of medication and the medication could have like broken down Gabrielle's immune system and everything and it could have caused the teeth to go bad really quick the milk teeth right she mentioned that her child was in the hospital had health problems was on various medications and antibiotics as a baby and we know that the diet of the mother during pregnancy can directly correlate to various problems. This study here indicates that maternal diet during pregnancy is related with the infant stool microbiome in a delivery mode dependent manner. I don't think anyone is going to deny the importance of the mother's diet and the role it takes in the health of the baby. But there could be a lot of other <laughs> factors as well like what like that you've been you were drinking a lot, a lot of milk. Every night. Every night and... And eating chocolate. <laughs> and eating chocolate. You weren't eating chocolate every night. <laughs> but anyway, like, I was... You like say cookies, chocolate cookies. Oh yeah, you were eating cookies a lot. <laughs> but I still, I still was brushing Gabriella's teeth and everything. She did some, she did a lot, drink like tea, drink like milk when she was little, about like one years old, two years old, when she was before bed and everything she used to drink, like a bottle and stuff, right? And so she's drinking milk and consuming chocolate and cookies every single night, and you're going to blame it on the milk? So this study, Oral Implications of the Vegan Diet, the study revealed greater incidence of demineralization and white spots in the vegan subjects compared to omnivorous ones localized at the neck of the teeth and on the vestibular surfaces of dental elements. This study, assessment of the influence of vegetarian diet on the occurrence of erosive and abrasive cavities in hard tooth tissues, more frequent consumption of some sour products and more commonly used horizontal brushing method were observed with slightly higher occurrence of non-carious cavities in vegetarian diets. This is role of dietary habits and diet in caries occurrence and severity among urban adolescent school children. Uh, caries is just another word for cavities. And this study shows when food habits are considered, parents should advise the children on the ill effects of frequent consumption of carbonated drinks on their health and also the effect of frequent consumption of confectionery on their teeth. And what diet is high in sugar? A vegan diet. This study shows dental erosion in subjects living on a raw food diet. Nevertheless, the results showed that a raw food diet bears an increased risk of dental erosion compared to conventional nutrition. And the median intake of fruit was 62% in total, corresponding to an average consumption of 9.5 kilograms of fruit per week. So very clear evidence and especially anecdotal evidence. I'm sure if you go on any vegan forum or vegetarian forum, these people are going to have tooth and dental problems. And when we observed anthropological skeletons of societies that did not prepare their grains properly, they suffered from dental cavities and especially with the lack of certain animal foods in the diet. As a lot of you people might not know, this is like a whole different subject, but I have to mention it because that is one of the reasons I think it might have caused it. 
I am not 100% sure. I will never know actually what happened, right Gabby? But it could have been like one of those things as like I've researched so much and found out a lot since becoming vegan, right Gabby? We know a lot about it now that actually cow's milk because it's, it is an animal protein for our bodies to digest, our bodies ha has to like break down it with our calcium that we have inside. It actually is not giving us extra calcium it, even though it contains calcium, right? So calcium is an animal protein and since calcium is an animal protein, the form of calcium isn't available. I have no idea where she read this, but my understanding of collated minerals and vitamins there's nothing that indicates that to my knowledge. And the main issue here is that she is correlating calcium intake to overall oral health and possibly even bone health. But we know that what really affects the health of the teeth and the bones is the vitamin D3 and K2 intake in the diet. And the only way to obtain vitamins D3 and K2 are from high quality animal foods. Because these vitamins, vitamins D3 and K2, stimulate the body to produce hormones that increase the absorption of calcium in the kidneys, which results in more calcium in the tooth and bone. This study actually shows the opposite. These results suggest that the addition of CPP, which is a form of casein protein, animal protein, the addition of that to fortified milk could increase calcium absorption by growing rats. This study is literally showing the opposite of what she's claiming in regards to the animal protein. Now, if we look at other studies on dairy intake, these data suggested that high intake of maternal cheese during pregnancy may reduce the risk of childhood dental caries. This study showed that milk had a neutral association with caries and that the consumption of sugar beverages, even fruit juice, increased caries risk. This study shows that there is no conclusive evidence that we should modify our currently high level of consumption of cow's milk, indicating that what she said about osteoporosis in countries that drink more milk is just incorrect. Another study showing that high calcium intake promotes bone health. Additionally, there's an explanation here as to why there might have been some conflicting data on the higher calcium consumption in countries, and that's because... In observational studies, the weakness of the methods available for estimating long-term calcium intake aren't that great. And what that means is that they only have questionnaires or nothing to really measure the calcium intake in the diet. And here's one more study on dairy. Our results show that there is a need for early creation of dietary habit of daily consumption of dairy products in children and adolescents. What really bothers me is these vegans make these outrageous claims and about 10 seconds on Google will show the literal opposite. Yeah. And people say that milk makes your teeth strong. That's not actually true. Water actually makes your teeth strong in smoothies. Smoothies, yeah. Like greens make your, make your teeth strong. That's what I always eat. Yeah. And now your teeth are great, right? Yeah. So basically, cow's milk does contain calcium, but the animal protein that it has it takes out the calcium out of our bones to digest the animal protein because it makes our bodies acidic. So I am not the expert on this. You could research it yourself. It is true. Countries of the highest consumption of dairy are the highest in osteoporosis. As, like, as far as I know, all the research that I have found out so it could be one of those things because you were drinking a lot of cow's milk when you were little. Yeah. I'm really like sad, sad that I didn't figure this out and found out this a lot earlier. And people say that milk is strong for your bones and it's also not true. Of course not. Exactly. Because it's the complete opposite. It does contain calcium. But what people don't know that like almond milk and... For example, I don't know, almond milk does contain <laughs> calcium and maybe even a lot more calcium. It's my favorite milk. I, I know. And obviously a lot of greens, greens, blueberries, just like anything, anything of our plants pretty much contain a lot of calcium, right? And that's the best. I don't think she needs to say I am not the expert because we, we know, miss, we can clearly tell you are not the expert on diet. 
And her claiming that calcium is in plant foods and that things like almond milk and vegetables have calcium really demonstrate her lack of the understanding of the various collations of calcium. And what we mean by this is calcium is bound to another substance. So it could be bound to an oxalic acid molecule, calcium oxalate, which is the form that typically occurs in plant foods, and that is not available to the human digestive system. You can eat all the calcium you want from spinach, but your body will not absorb it. Same thing can be said about phytic acid and phytates in things like nuts, especially almond milk. These phytates bind to the calcium, and they cause the calcium not to be absorbed in the body. Unfortunately, this is across the board for everyone. Most people don't understand that plant-based sources of calcium are not really available to the human digestive system. But the overarching thing here is something I've talked about in several of my past videos that the calcium RDA is way too high. It's incorrect. What we really need to be doing is consuming more vitamins D3 and K2. My mom told me one day that this tooth is coming out because she can feel it in my gum. Exactly. We'll get into that now. So basically what happened, Gabriella, just like drank a lot of milk, that could and have been cookies. the cause. That could have been the cause, yeah. And you ate a lot of like cookies. just baby cookies. Because um, when I ate that a lot, my teeth looked like a little bit brown spots. Yeah, brown they were like uh, kind of getting stuck there and something. But I, like I said, I did brush her teeth as much as I could. I didn't obviously brush them when she was asleep and drinking milk sometimes when she would wake up at night and everything. But when I talked to my mom, but when I talked to my mom, uh, my mom told me that when I was little, she really didn't brush my teeth when I was like until I was almost three. And I, I, my mom was nursing me and I was drinking her milk and it is natural and it didn't cause any calcium <laughs> deficiencies or uh, and I didn't drink any cow's milk and, uh, until after I was like three or something and that's when obviously all my teeth were perfectly fine and I don't know maybe that's that's one of the cases and what else what else happened that's because your mother wasn't following a horrendous vegan diet and that she didn't start shoving sugar down your throat as soon as you came out of the womb but when i was drinking my mom's milk i didn't really like it so i just drank well yeah because what happened was that you were in hospital for two months almost and you didn't have a chance to really get used to drinking mommy's milk and because of all the stress and everything, I lost all the milk. Didn't like her mommy's milk, and then her mother ran out of milk? It's very clear that it is not possible to have a healthy pregnancy or breastfeeding period on a vegan diet. I demonstrated in about two dozen studies on my video several days ago on prenatal nutrition, the importance of animal foods in the diet and how the levels vary incredibly in breast milk of all the vitamins and DHA. It's very clear that her breast milk was not nutritious and it was not providing the vitamins and minerals that her child needed to develop. Babies have incredibly good instincts. They know what foods they like, they know what foods they don't like. Feeding a baby sugar is not something you would have had access to in nature. But if you're feeding your baby breast milk and they don't like it, but they like sugar, how does that make any sense from a natural perspective? It's very clear there's something wrong. We've been waiting and waiting for three years for the new teeth to come. And for three, almost, almost four. Since you are vegan, right? It all breaks down to like healthy eating <laughs> and everything. Your teeth have been so great and you've been brushing them real nice. And ever since like it's, being vegan, you haven't had any problems. It's because of Her teeth have been so great on a vegan diet? Are you joking? Oh, she's only missing half her teeth. Just because you play this happy music in the background and talk so much about how you brush your daughter's teeth every day does not mean it's okay to give them a vegan diet and let their teeth rot away. We were in California. No, it was in Amsterdam. Amsterdam? Yeah, um, we were in Amsterdam we, when the next one came out. When, when I was eating, I had a wobbly tooth and I was walking around and with an ice cream. And then I... 
It was the very first bite of the chocolate and then it just fell out. By it just itself. fell out. And you can see it on the videos, guys, because it's all filmed. It's what a coincidence. Every time we film a video, <laughs> it just falls out. <laughs> That's because you film vegan videos, and vegans need to consume insane amounts of sugar to follow their crazy diet. Your daughter is losing her teeth eating high sugar foods like chocolate and ice cream. But hey, let's blame the animal products, boys. Of course, it's the calcium and the casein protein, not the sugar. No, no, I'm just so excited to see Gabrielle with her front teeth and yeah, I don't I really mean. notice anymore that you don't really have teeth. Kind of do, but like... But it's so exciting, right? Yeah, I've been wanting them for years because everyone in my class has like the top teeth. Yeah. I'm the only one in the family that has no top teeth. Yeah. Does it bother you? No. Exactly. It's okay. Is, it, is, it, is anybody in school saying anything nasty or something? No, of course not. Oh yeah, no big deal. She's only missing half her teeth and no one else in her school is. Great. So one thing I did want to bring up is how Manami was breastfed and how her mother didn't have to brush her teeth. And if you look at Manami's teeth, they're essentially perfect, demonstrating the importance of animal vitamins and how animal vitamins played a huge role in Monami Frost developing properly. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said about her daughter. And it's a little bit hypocritical that animal foods contributed to her health and possibly the vitamin stores from previous animal foods she was including in her diet were why she was even able to have a pregnancy in the first place. Uh, so what are you going to do? Um, th this really is unfortunate. Uh, I hate to see these children being impacted. Uh, but that being said, you know, there's a lot of things going on in the world right now that are, are much worse than this. I can only really just help so much. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to support the channel, please subscribe, like, and share the video. If you guys want to know what type of nutrient-dense animal foods I consume every day, there are a couple of them on my Amazon shop. And my Patreon does have some exclusive videos that you guys might be interested in checking out. Uh, if you guys do want to check out my toothpaste product, it's a tooth powder. It's on my website, frank stefanocom Hey, maybe if she was using this tooth powder to brush her daughter's teeth, things might have been a little bit different. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, if you guys want to see any other videos in the future, if you guys want to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations, you can reach out to me via email, frankatofano at gmail.com or through the contact form on my website.